Welcome to the 2020-2021 program cycle of Discover E's Future City Competition. This short video covers the city essay deliverable as well as the living on the moon theme. So what is the city essay? It is an essay that describes the team's future city, but it's short, only 1500 words. By the time that teams are working on their city essay, they should be well into their research and have brainstormed solutions together. The essay is a chance for them to finalize these ideas and bring their city to life. The essay paints a picture of what life is like in their future city. Where on the moon is it located? What innovative and futuristic features does it have? The essay also needs to address the living on the moon challenge to describe how the city uses two moon resources to keep its residents safe and healthy. This is the full version of the theme overview that you can find in the program handbook and on Future Cities website. It has the full team challenge at the end, which you'll want to pay attention to. Speaking of the challenge, here are a few things to make note of before your team begins. We are not requiring teams to start from scratch on the moon. They can assume multiple phases of development and growth have occurred, so now they have a full functioning city. That complete city is what we want teams to describe. Within the larger scope of describing their lunar city, there's a specific focus on detailing two moon resources that the city uses and how those help keep the city's residents safe and healthy. We provide several resources to help your team succeed with the Living on the Moon Challenge. The Living on the Moon Overview and Research Question student handout has a lot of information about the moon, its resources and hazards, and thought-provoking questions. This handout is a good place to start getting your team to think about how life on the moon is different from life as we know it on Earth. We also have the Living on the Moon Questions to Consider student handout. This handout is separated into several city-related topics that teams might want to research and brainstorm about, including location, transportation, industry, food and water, and residents' daily lives. The Living on the Moon Real World Case Studies offers teams specific examples of recent breakthroughs and developments related to life on the moon. The Living on the Moon Research Resources is a document with links to suggested places to start the team's research, but it's not an exhaustive list and there's a lot more to explore. The City Essay Suggested Outline is exactly what it sounds like. It's our suggestion of how your team may want to organize their city essay to ensure they include all the requirements. The city essay rubric is what judges will use to score your team's deliverable. Teams should review the rubric before starting their essay and refer to it often. Every year we publish the city essays from the top five teams at finals. These are available in the gallery section of Future Cities website. In October, we will host a webinar with panelists who are experts in all things about the moon. They'll share their expertise and teams will have a chance to ask them questions. Stay tuned for more information about date and time for that webinar. Also, if you don't already follow us on Facebook and other social media channels, be sure to do that. We will be sharing theme related resources and other timely topics on our page throughout the program cycle. You can find all of these resources and more in the resources section of Future Cities website. And finally, how is the city essay scored? The deliverable is worth 58 points. And like I said earlier, be sure to refer to the rubric often. It's exactly the same rubric that teams will use and teams can see what they need to do to earn as many points as possible. Best of luck with your team city essay this year.